Hello, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm a naturalist here at the Chattahoochee Nature Center. Today, I have one of our friends with me, and our wildlife department helps sick and injured wildlife. When one is deemed unable to survive on its own in its natural habitat, then it gets to live here with us at the Nature Center and becomes a nature ambassador. So you can see, yes, this is a box turtle. You can notice that he is very wiggly. This turtle has been with us for about 15 years. He was probably hatched in the mid-1990s, and as you're looking at him, you can see a lot of details that make him very special. As I put him down on the ground, notice and let me know what you think about this turtle and his habitat. Some of you have noticed that his colors match the colors of the leaves and the sticks and the pine straw. So camouflage is very important. Others of you have noticed his size, that in this habitat, he is a very small animal. And the shape of his shell makes him look like a nice rock down here. You'll notice that I use some scientific terms. Camouflage, if you're looking at the colors on his shell and the colors down here, help to hide him from predators as he's on the ground. Another scientific term we used was habitat, and that is referring to his natural home. After looking at where he would be living down on the ground, remember too that turtles are not picky eaters. One of the things that has helped them survive is the fact that he will eat a lot of different things. He will dig through the mulch down here and get grubs and worms and insects. He will also munch on the green plants that are low growing and the mushrooms are his pizza treat. One of the things that I have always wondered is how long have turtles been around? Cool fact, they have been around since the time of dinosaurs, the Jurassic period. Amazing, they've been here for over 110 million years. Now, as we look at these biofacts, which are some items from turtles that have already passed away and they have been sanitized, we are able to look closely at them to see the details and help us to understand the animals. You can see in the middle some little hatchlings that are very small and then the turtles on the side are full grown adult size. So this shows us how much they grow from the time that they are hatched. With this shell, we can see part of the turtle's total shell. This top shell is called a carapace. And the interesting fact about using this biofact is we can see where the backbone of the turtle is connected to his shell. So as he grows from that little hatchling to a full grown turtle, he grows and his shell grows. As I'm holding this turtle shell, some of you are noticing that the carapace has two different colors. Part of the shell has the pattern but part of it is white. And these pattern parts are called scoots and they have peeled off. So the shell itself does have different layers. With this shell, 
we are actually able to see how the turtle is closed up completely to protect himself. He's able to close, pull in his head, his legs, and even his tail and protect his whole body. This is a wonderful adaptation to help him to survive. Another scientific term, adaptations. And these are the changes that things in nature, whether it's animals or plants, make so that they can survive. It helps them to adjust. Okay. Thank you for joining me today. And we would love to hear from you. If you have any questions and comments, please reach out to us. As you're out walking through your yard, walking through your neighborhood, around your school or parks, take a look and see if you see some areas like this that would be good habitats for the turtles. And remember, their natural home is out in areas like this, not in our homes. Thanks again for joining us and get your nature on. Let's review. We saw a box turtle. We also learned some new words. Camouflage, when an animal has the same colors as where it lives to help it hide and stay safe. Habitat, the place where the animal lives. Adaptation when an animal or plant changes over time to survive. What can you remember about this nature neighbor?